Hey guys, welcome back to Boca Farms. We've got a 1964 Dodge with a Chevy 350 in it. I forget the transmission, but it wasn't original. And it's got old gas in it. We just got it running in the last episode. So this time, I'm going to go take it out, put some fresh gas, run around the farm, and see if we can get that baby running smooth. And then, check the brakes, bring her back to the shop, keep working on it. Sounds good? Okay, let's go. Stay tuned. Let's roll. Dickens.
much better. Originally, they just had you grab the handles of the doors, but they're not very strong. And this way, you can slam it when you're angry, which we never get on the farm when trucks don't start. It's got a 350. Nothing can go wrong. We used to this truck to haul water. This is an old uh, Bricks and Stratton water pump bracket. I don't need any more. Now the back tailgate of this thing is, you call it a tailgate? Is it a tailgate? We'll call it a tailgate. The tailgate of this thing is in a buried in a snowdrift somewhere. I think I know where, but rather than poking around and bending stuff till I find it, we'll put that on when the snow melts, which might be next week. So, we'll get to that in a minute. Faintly remember, thanks to leg arms memory reminding me, that I bought a mirror for this thing somewhere. Let's go see if we can find it. I feel like it was possibility. Ooh, there's a nice mirror. Let's see if it fits. Oh, it's so close. I think it'll squeeze together. That's better. Now, what do I do about you? This abomination. Let's cut it down. Ran on a cutoff blades in the shop for all of our electric tools, so all I've got left is this uh, <laughs> air tool, and it's slow. Oh well, let's keep going. Oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> I gotta remember to get some better cutoff blades. Could have saved me 10 minutes. It worked. I was out walking around and I found something in the snow. Let's go get it. It's cold out there. But thankfully this is inside. finish this. Let's put it on and get this truck out of here. I have to do a couple more things. But we're getting there.
Looks like I'm still missing a couple pieces. You can see it's a little short. So there's this top panel here that goes across the back and I don't know where that's at, somewhere in the snow. So we'll try to find that in a minute. bolts to put in right here and right here and then find those top panels and uh, we got a truck that can haul stuff like extra fertilizer or seed when we have too much or too little perfect look what I found so it does look like it needs possibly tweaked a little bit might have gotten ran over at some point I don't know all right, throw a board out. Um, that one right there, that's what I want. No, let's do it. That one will work. Let's just do this. She can haul stuff now, but it's uh, 15 to noon, so uh, I should probably uh, I should probably go get some food. All right, I think he's about ready to go out the door, but before we do, one last thing. Let's get some of that carbon out of that engine. Someone showed me this a while back. Don't do it very often, but it's one way to clean all the carbon off your valves and intake and all that good stuff. So what you do basically is take the air cleaner off so your carburetor's exposed, get a little throttle, dump some sea foam in the top till it kills the engine, then let it sit for about 10 minutes, come back, takes a while to start, finally get it cranking to go on, give it some gas, and you'll see what comes out the back. It's beautiful. Might as well dump the last in the tank. There we go. Let's fire up and get ready to crack the door open because we're going to need it wide open for this. clean up and uh, run a lot, lot better. Let's park it. All right, that's it. We'll have a use for him real soon. Real soon. Spring. Well, thanks for watching guys. As always, God bless and uh, We'll see you in the next video. Until then, there's the Wagner.